Welcome to my OSGI intro series. Uh, this session is about tests. In this session we will be exploring OSGI special unit tests. These are unit tests that are running inside the framework. Uh, it allows us a special way to talk to the runtime and test our services as they will be running in the production environment. So let's get started. So if you followed along, um, we worked through the API and the provider, but then we gone through, uh, gone through some problem with the naming. So I refactor the project, calling it OSGI Tutorial Booking. So there is a refactoring episode that uh, go through that steps really, really quickly. Um, so in the provider, um, as we discussed, we have um, a service uh, implementation running in the OSGI runtime. Uh, but the only way to access it inside the runtime is by providing either a mechanism for uh, for it using the uh, command interface or later on we'll see in an application uh, point of view we'll create a client for that service um, but there is no other way to access that um, service in the runtime so how do we go about and do testing so to do that we use the uh, command prompt and we poke the, uh, the API we poke the service in runtime um, making a um, command shell calls. Now, this is great if you have a very simple thing to display in a demo, but if you're working on a big application, you're not gonna go and test everything uh, through the command shell every time you make change or evolve your API or your services. So this is one of the best, uh, or my favorite feature in DD tools is the test project. Now, think about JUnit test, but inside the runtime. So we're gonna create a test project that is being deployed into the OSGI runtime and in the runtime it will have access to all the services that OSGI has to give, it will register and require a booking service and then we can work with it and test it in the runtime. So let's get started. As always, BND OSGI project. We're gonna call it test because that's what the um, if we look here, there is a test suffix, um, and that will create our project template for us. So if we look at what we've got, is we got a booking test. I'm gonna minimize this a little bit and stop the service. Um, so what did we get by default? Uh, we got this call, which is basically getting the context from the framework, from the OSGI framework, and asserting that this is actually um, uh, returned. Um, let's just look at the BND uh, file. Um, again, we get this. Uh, let's just get rid of that for time being, and let's try it out. Um, in order to run this type of project, we cannot run the normal JUnit, and we cannot run the normal um, OSGI run, what we need to run is the test launcher. So this will deploy our jar into um, the uh, framework and make the test. But of course we didn't run the resolve. So we're gonna do auto resolve and resolve. That will make sure that we get the resolution every time. Now, one thing to pay attention here is there are two branches, the source and the test. Now, normally unit test sits in the test branch because we don't want them deployed into our main uh, jar. But in OSGI testing uh, framework, you have to create it in the source because you do want it to be deployed. You do want it to be packaged inside your jar. Otherwise, in the runtime, you'll have no code. So this is one thing to pay attention to. We are not writing the test inside the test branch, we're writing them into the source branch. Uh, let's run this again. Again, the launcher, the unit, uh, something is running. Okay, sorry for that. I'm gonna close that one because it failed. And we're gonna run again. If we select the right file. So as expected, we had one run and one pass, uh, and that is because this was a simple test. So 
what we're going to do next. So we have to understand that um, in, in OSGI, there's a very clear separation between the um, service declaration and the service implementation. So OSGI, BND, BND tools, and, and Root go through a lot of effort to make sure that these are completely separated. So for example, if you define an API, like a plugin, um, and you require the implementer to implement a specific um, API specification, specific interface, then we can potentially provide several implementation of that API. We can create several providers providing different functionality, different, um, different behavior under the hood. But from our testing um, um, project, we don't want to tie ourselves to a specific provider. We want to just say, okay, OSGI, give me my service. The service should be a booking service and let the framework work out what it is that we need and provide it. So let's go through that example and see if we can get that to work. So first of all, we want to get that API. So we want to get our booking API so we can start requiring it. Um, if you look at the BND uh, website on the testing uh, sample, um, there is a function call which gives you a nice wrapper for implementing that. Um, so we we'll go for that in, in here. So what it basically does, it calls the context and requests the context for a specific class. And our class will be our API implementation of the booking class. So let's call it booking service. And what we want is get service and it's the booking dot class which is implemented booking I got something wrong here. Uh, oh of course I didn't save the BND tool. BND um, file so it doesn't know what I'm asking for. So we want the booking API. So let's just clean this a little bit. Yeah, we don't want that. So this will go to the context and request for a booking class API implementation or interface implementation. So we have no dependencies on a specific provider. This is just us asking the OSGI framework to give us a service. And we don't know how it, or who is implementing it. So let's go back to our testing and see if we can run it. And of course it failed. And why would it fail? It failed because it couldn't resolve the model. So what does it mean? If you think about it, um, all we provided to the runtime is our test package. And that test package is requiring um, the API saying, oh, okay, I'm looking for some API implementation, but we actually haven't provided any implementation of that service. So to fix that, we need to get our booking provider. That will provide the implementation of that service. It will deploy that into the runtime and the OSGI will recognize that. And when we are requiring that API, that service, that will be provided to us. So we can run this, this is again. And select the right file again. And we get everything passed. So our test project, in effect, doesn't have any reference to the actual implementation. It's the OSGI framework that works out what is required, what are we asking for, and if it, the service, that implementation is available, it will be provided to us in the OSGI framework in runtime. So next we want to do is we want to actually call our service and do something with that call, uh, which is get greet. And we're going to change that to equal. And we know it's returning 
like hello so we give it an error service waiting which want to run this again and we get an error because this should return hello so I've gone a little bit offline because I had a problem uh, with this test run, which you probably noticed that it wasn't running. So I fixed it. Uh, looking back in the documentation, it's quite clear that we have to define the actual test classes that are running in the BND um, file. And the way to do it is just specify your full path to the test class. Um, and that is necessary for the JUnit annotation and the JUnit integration. And what happened now is when I'm doing the run is I get full integration with JUnit. Um, pretty cool actually. Uh, so when you see this is running, you can see that the JUnit is opening um, and you can see our test runs inside the OSGI uh, framework and uh, this is uh, pretty pretty amazing so now it's recognizing the test class it's running it as JUnit 4 and all the tests are running as expected um, so the change uh, that I had to make was in the BND file I had to specify the test cases I have to specify the full uh, path to the uh, test class um, save that, no other changes. Um, I don't know if you had the same uh, problem with uh, the resolve, but make sure that it's still resolving to the booking uh, provider, otherwise you're gonna get errors that the service is not available. Let's, let's try this again. So if I'm gonna remove this uh, provider and save, and now I have full integration, um, I'll get this and now it's searching for the service and one is passed and we get two errors and if we look at the unit we can see that the framework uh, it couldn't really resolve the um, our class so our, our provider so I'm gonna add that back in and save and one thing I failed to mention is run configuration. I've switched that on to enable tracing. I don't need it now. So it runs much quicker. Um, so all the tracing is off and I get my, my classes to run and everything is passing. So again, the fix, very simple fix is to replace what was there as a um, automatically recognizing test cases to a specific test case and that, that works for us. So that's OSGI testing inside the framework um, and that's the end of this episode. Thank you.